Job 3.25. Let's look at this. For the thing I greatly fear has come upon me, and what I dread has happened to me. What are you fearing, blessed? Well, let's confess ourselves. What are your fears? Well, I feel that I fear. Oh, brother, I am frightened. I am afraid that I think, I truly think that my matrimony, I fear that my, and since I fear, I create malice. And if I create malice, I begin to give in directs. And since I fear, I begin to make calls. And I ask there, and I do this here. And I begin to create a fortress that then you're not going to only be fearful. You're going to have to run before that fortress falls upon you. Put that verse again. Stop it right there. For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened. I was not at peace, nor quiet, nor had I rest, yet turmoil came upon me. Temples that live in fear, minds that serve God with fear and turmoil. Look, I don't want to live that way. As a matter of fact, that's what I fear, to live like that. When fear begins to arrive from wherever, what I do from health, fear of this, fear of that, whatever, I number them like this. And I say, wait a minute, run. I have to look for something. Let me put some nice music. But don't, don't you see that you are a machine, a race, that you are created with a form of being. You are, you are a spirit, so you have to be reformed and form Christ in you because your transformation also depends on it. So we, you have to be preparing yourself because if you start, you know, sharing sweet water and bitter water and people come to hear you and you're one day sweet and another day bitter. So you're now challenged with two thoughts and the mind when it receives that bad information, the effects begin to manifest several days later. You don't notice it, but you see that afterwards. It's that you're that way. You are a special generation. And listen, you're not just any race because you see that there are people that walk like you and live like you like those actors those actors and actresses if they had this wisdom they would save their wealth but they destroy themselves immediately because they don't have the minds to believe as we do so you have you are very special and you have to educate your thoughts you have to do that you have to deal with the mind. Look, I, when I was a young man, I was addicted to drugs. I used to love it. I used to dream with it. Well, I, well, that affected me so much, that habit that I fear that something dominates me now. So now I dominate things. Some I like to do and I do them, but I dominate them. The day I, feel that they're dominating me, I feel that I went back to that youth as a teenager because it's dominating, dominating me. Now, while you are in self-control, you control and your mind is there controlling. But fear, do not put it in your temple. It's ugly. The temple gets dirty. Dirty temples. Dirty temples? Oof. Contaminated with bad information. 